let's do this uh, painting thing here. You know, I should have done this really quick here as we get rolling in. Let's get uh, Gimp up and rolling. Gotta do something here really quick. Oh, come on, Gimp. Get going. Welcome, welcome. We are gonna get rolling. Alright, we're getting we're getting rolling here. Come on, Gimp. What's up with Gimp right now? Oh, there it goes. Here's my last thumbnail. Okay. Leave that up there for now. And... Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's get this going. There we go. Just getting a little thing set up here real quick. I should have done this beforehand, sorry about that. What are we doing on that? Fine, okay. All right, let's get rolling, shall we? Okay, so today we're gonna be working on the K and N scheme. So we need to get into a K and N uh, race here. Mark, hey my friend, we were just talking about you. We got to fix your green screen. Speaking of fixing my green screen, this is a little too far off to the. There we go, much better. I know what the issue is, Mark. We have to um, adjust each. Yeah, it's gonna be. I know. I know what your issue is. It is making your eyes black. We have to just adjust the similarities that your camera is gonna pick up. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> so we're making a brand new paint scheme here for the K and my K and N car um, for the league. I've been running Hunger Howies for a year now, but it's time to put it to rest, and it's time to make us a uh, USA Firearms. It's me, Randy. Uh, Rogers A51, Drunk Mercenary, Aquatic Phoenix paint scheme so it's gonna be fun let's do it okay so first of all uh, we need to get inside our car here and I had uh, I most certainly had a practice session up I don't know what happened to it though. let's get it going though let's do a k and practice session and it's at Lucas Oil which I think the k and car at Lucas Oil is probably the only um, Probably the only time I ever like running Lucas Oil. Yeah, it's Gimp time. Let's do it. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys. Um, I want I want Barkley by the rear wheel well. So we're going to. I'm gonna show you how you can cut out objects out of pictures and have it transparent behind them, which will be cool. RV Master. Okay, we can put some RV Master on there. Okay. I'm gonna have a lot of contingencies on this this paint scheme, and I'm also be showing you guys. Um, uh, I want flannel on the hood of this car and on the top of it. So I'm also going to show you guys how to have um, like patterns as well. So we're going to be a lot of advanced things here in this paint scheme, which is going to be pretty cool. So we're just going to join the session here. Yoast Auto Sales. Yoast is going to be on there. Yep. You betcha. We have a lot of contingencies on here. We're gonna have a filled up car. I'm just gonna look like a, a billboard. Scotty too hotty. Yeah, we'll have to put state building on there. You're absolutely right about that. Mm hmm, mm hmm. All right, let's switch screens here really quick. This is the only bad thing about doing this. On, um, there we go. So I'm gonna unhook my wheel here too. I still got my wheel here and uh, We'll take the wheel off when we start painting. What the heck is this down here? 
Oh, it's actually on my screen. I don't know what that is. Huh. Interesting. So let's get it out on the track so we can see it. And right now we are running the Hungry Howies scheme. Try and true Hungry Howies. You witch! Just told them that we're putting your sticker on the car there, Aqua. We gotta run in a couple laps here, though. Oh, you're good, you're good Aqua. You can still host me. Oop, a little too hard, a little too hard. That's alright. We're just we're just trying to get... We don't want to damage the car <laughs> for the paint scheme as well. And you want to get it going full below. Ah, uh, okay, that's it. <laughs> yep, we're going to show people how to cut those out too. Oh, we have a little bit of an issue here. See why I hate green screen aqua. Oh well. We're gonna leave it. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, I'm just in an official practice, Yost. Anyway, we're not gonna worry about it. Let's just get a good shot of the car where I can get all the way around it. Right probably right there is pretty good. Okay, so this is my old scheme right here. And it was inspired by Kevin Harvick's old shell car. I really love that car. And so you see we have Hungry Howie's on here. I always have Jessica's name on the quarter panel of my car. We have the Oh Yeah, which is on their pizza boxes. And we got Church of the Nazarene slapped on the back there because I am a pastor for the Church of the Nazarene, which is pretty cool. Okay. So this is the car we're going to be having. Oh, and you can see my name on there. Oh, I need to fix that. That's ugly. Meyer Milnes, Pure Michigan. You got to have Pure Michigan on there, Pepsi. All right. But today we're making us a brand new paint scheme. Okay. So I'm going to try to talk about this like uh, you guys have never watched any of my tutorials before. And you want to make yourself a new K&N paint scheme. So here is what you're going to have to do. You have to go to iRacing.com, log in. What kind of stripes, Chase? What you talking about? I'll show you here. You'll need what's uh, you'll need the tool for it, and I'll show you here in a second, Chase. So you need to go to iRacing. You need to go to Account, Customize Paint Schemes, Customize Cars. All right. Once you're in here, you need to download the car templates. You can download them all if you want. I don't recommend it though because you won't be working on. Well, you might be. I highly doubt it though. Usually one or the other. And it is going to be under, what is the name of this car? NASCAR K&N Pro Chevrolet Impala. All right, and we're going to save file. It's gonna go there, so now we have it. And uh, you just need to put it into a folder now where you have a bunch of paint schemes. So we have this now, let's open that up. Bring that over here. That's it right there. So I have that there. I am bringing up now. Whoopsie. Oh, oh, biscuits. Okay, so you bring that up. This is what it brings up. There's the paint file right there. Now we're gonna open that up in GIMP. But let's first put it into another file. So I have a folder for the KNN. Nope. Wait a minute. I don't know what that is. That's not going to work, though. And we're going to put that Chevy Impala file into there. Oh, it's already in there. Okay, so we already have it in there. Excellent. So let's open that up in GIMP. Yes, Zimmy, we're making us a brand new K&N. It's me, Randy, USA Firearms. Uh, RV Master, uh, Yost Automotive, Rogers A51, Aquatic Phoenix, <laughs> K9 car. <laughs> so here we go. All right, we have those files ready. Yep. By the way, Zimmy, did you see the new uh, emoticon? What did I just do? What did I do there? Oh, I see. Okay, I took everything down. Fix that. Bring up GIMP here now. 
Now, as you can see, I have my old... I need to bring that back up, too. Let's bring up iRacing and put it on the other side. Put that in the background. Barkley, what are you doing, buddy? Hey! What's up, Francis? I'm <laughs> no artist. You know, I'm still kind of a beginner at this, but uh, people said my videos helped them, so we're going to try to help do this. So this this is my latest, uh, that was my latest thumbnail for my last video. So we're done with that one. Let's go to File, Open. Remember the file that you put that into? I have it under Paint, k &N, Chevy Impala SS. So we're opening that up now. That's a big file. Holy cow. We're going to keep it, so it keeps all of its original properties. All right, let's see. Now, there's some things I like to do when I get in here. You see these car patterns, right? Uh, why is that not showing up all the way? Hold on a sec. We need to see the bottom here. Why is it like that? There we go. There we go. Okay. Bonjour. Okay, see these car patterns here? I don't like messing with these. Let's just get rid of them. They just take up space. And if you have a lot of memory, or don't have a lot of memory, it's going to mess it up big time. So here's what I'm thinking, guys. I'm thinking, what is going on here? Let's turn that mask. Why is the mask black? I don't like that. Let's change it to white. The mask is that color that's not the car there. See that right here? So when you turn that on and off, it helps you see the body of the car. I don't like it being white, though. So let's change that mask. Oh gosh, do I have to do everything? We're going to fill the whole section with white. He's gone mad. Okay, there we go. So I, I set the fill tool to fill all section and it does everything. Do it all rainbow. We will not be doing um, Jeff Gordon car today. <laughs> like I like my... Jeez. <laughs> Mark. Okay, so um, a lot of cars here, when they do their, their um, paints here in, in GIMP, they wind up having these yellow stripes on the back of the car when they don't necessarily need to. That's because they leave this license stripe on there. See that? So we're turning that off, and you see a lot of late models that do that because it comes default on. So here's what we're going to do. I'm thinking a black scheme with black and blue flannel that matches my flannel shirts that I wear on the top and on the hood. Uh, Barkley right over here by the rear the rear wheel well, and uh, it sounds kind of crazy right now, but I, trust me, I think it's gonna look really good. So we need to first of all, uh, I think we're gonna make the base black. Then I hate black cars, but for this, uh, <laughs> you guys remind me of a joke I always tell my wife. I always tell her, Jess, I like my women just like I like my coffee, and she'll shoot me this look like, hey, and I'll say, quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm about to get pulled down from YouTube and Twitch. That's awesome. So we're going to make this car black. Let's make the, the base paint. We're going to make it black. And we're going to do... Not fill similar colors. Yeah, we're going to fill similar colors. And we're going to make it foreground. Okay, there we go. Random color. Let's check it out. I'm clicking it. Oh, it's ugly. Do you want to see what you brought up there, Francis? I'll show you here. Hold on. You want to see what you brought up? Ugh, that is ugly. <laughs> All right. So now the base color is black, and I don't like black cars. There's way too many of them on iRacing. Trust me, it's not going to be a black car when we're done with it. We're just going to make the base paint black. So everything underneath it is going to be black. So here's what we're going to do. Let's zoom in here to the hood. Okay, I want this hood. I need the wire on. So we need to turn the wireframe on so I can see all the details of the car, and thankfully it's already white. So we can see that nice and easy. I want this to be flannel. I want the hood to be flannel. I want the top to be flannel. And maybe even the side panels here. I'm not quite sure yet. We'll make the back of the car, the, the lid deck, black as well. So, uh, I 
I'm thinking how much of that I want to be flannel right now. So we're going to make a, a new layer here, and we're going to call it flannel. Oh, yes, there's two ways, Chase. On your keyboard, there's a plus and a minus. That's the way I do it. You can also control, just like Mart said, and use the, the wheel on the mouse. Hey, hey now, hey now, now you're talking, Francis. Francis does uh, some graphics work, so he knows. But uh, I think the flannel is going to work out really well. So what we're going to do is create a new layer. And what we're going to do is make this layer um, to where no matter what I do, I'm only coloring in this layer. So what we're going to do here is let's make this another color. Let's make it blue. Just so it's easy to see. Maybe a little bit of a lighter blue. Okay. Um, now there's two ways you can go about doing this. I'm just going to do it with the pencil tool. Because it's easy for Well, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. Let's do flannel hood. Let's just do this. No, let's leave it alone. Okay, so I want the top and the hood to be flannel. So I'm just going to color this in for now blue. And I'm getting in close here, and I believe this right here, if I'm correct, this is right here is where the, the side panel on the top of the car begins, right? So we can also check this too, and I need to show you how I do that. So we're going to File, Export As. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're trying to open this up so we can see it in iRacing, right? So we're opening it, saving it as, and you want to go to your documents, which is usually highlighted right here anyways. But it's going to be on your main Windows drive. So if you have a second drive that has the documents folder in it, it's not going to work. It's going to be in the same um, drive that Windows is installed on. So we click documents on my Windows drive, iRacing, paint, and then you need to select the paint that you're, uh, the car that you're doing it for. We're doing it for the K&N car, which will be... Hmm. Yeah, stock car Chevy SS. I believe that's it. Well, that might not be it. Nope. We'll find it here. Oh, it's here somewhere. No, it's got to be this. Must be this one then. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So now I need to find my car on here. Okay. And remember, I had the Hunger Howie scheme. That's what we're looking for right now. That's got to be it right there, right? The big one. Nope, that's the Hooters car. Bikini in the front. There we go. We'll just put a bikini over the whole thing. Got to find my scheme. So right now we're looking for my paint scheme. So we're looking for that Hungry Howie's red and yellow scheme. And that's the one we're going to be saving over because that's my car. That's, that's the car that my car iRacing registers as my car. Oh, come on. Sorry, this, this shouldn't take this long. I should have done this beforehand. Bud. Napa. Hooters. Come on, I'm here somewhere. Should have deleted all these beforehand. Barkley, what are you doing? You're going on the car, buddy. We're here somewhere. <laughs> Come on. There's so many paints in here. I need to empty this out. There we are. We found it. See, there's my Hungry Howie scheme. So we're going to export over top of that paint scheme. So now whatever I have here in GIMP is going over top of that Hungry Howie scheme. Boom. Okay, so let's bring it up in iRacing now. Boom. Okay, so now that we're in iRacing, all we have to do, since we exported over that old file, all we have to do is hit Control and R, and it should bring it up now. See that? There we go. Let's check now to see if that blue that we put it in is in a good spot. By the way, Control and F12 are the way to do that. 
Control F12 brings up these options right here. Now you see how I don't want it inside behind that that fin right there. So we're gonna go back over to the paint and we're gonna take that blue out of there. Because I don't want that there. And I'm just using the pencil right now, by the way. There we go. That looks a lot better. Control E re-exports the file back to iRacing. So we're going to go back into iRacing now. It takes a second, so if it doesn't come up right away, don't worry about that. And we're going to reload it. Yes, that's much better. Okay, so there we go. So now we know uh, what's going to be on the car and what isn't going to be. Okay, excellent. So let's go back over and let's just fill that in to make a new layer. And I'm going to show you guys how to put flannel over top of what I just painted. Right? Okay. Okay, so we got the blue backing over here, so we're going to fill in here, which is really nice. Now, if you just want to make a straight line, you can just hold shift and click. Boom. There you go. Straight line. Hydro! We're making some paint schemes, buddy. All right, there we go. There's that. Now we're going to go all the way up here with the shift click. Now, anything outside that white line right there, anything outside the wire is not going to show up, so it doesn't matter. So we're going to keep that. We definitely want that in there. Boom. Uh, that'll do right there. We'll fit that in here. Uh-oh. See that? We went over that that line right there. That's not how I want it to look. We're going to take that back out. We did not want that. So we have to do it by hand. Now, there's faster ways to do this, but I'm, I'm doing this for people who are kind of new to GIMP. Did we do that over there? What did I do? Oops, I didn't want it below that. So we gotta take all this out. I did not want that there. Okay, so we want it right here. I'm doing great, Hydro. How are you doing, my friend? By the way, this is Chase Thompson's favorite song on my stream that's playing right now. All right, we're just shifting and clicking and that makes a straight line. And we're gonna go down here. And then we're gonna fill the rest in with... Oh, I can't. I'm just gonna have to fill it all in, that's okay. Okay, so we got that. I know, it's really strange. That's That was one of the things that was so hard to learn on here, Francis, was that gosh darned wireframe. Yeah, yeah, you would think. It's this, uh, these stock cars are a completely different animal. Okay, so we got that. Now we're gonna do the hood. And now do you see right here on the hood where this tape is, where uh, there's kind of this dash section right here? In my humble opinion, it's always best to leave that black. Um, they're black on the real cars. And it just looks better if you leave this section right here black. So we're gonna actually blue in around that. And I think the hood stops right here. So we'll fill that in a little bit. We'll just keep coming like this. Now you can zoom in if you want to get a lot uh, more detailed. Remember, zooming in is plus and minus key or control on the wheel. Oops, see, we didn't really want to do that. Hey, what's up, Jack? How are you, my friend? Whoops. I guess that works out. Boom. We are making ourselves a new scheme for the league coming up here, Jack. You gonna race, by the way? By the way, Jack, I miss you streaming iRacing. I was just thinking about that the other day. <laughs> oh, I say that, you make me laugh, and then I just draw all over the car. Oh, does he really? I need to watch that. Terry Crews, by the way, is from Flint, Michigan. My hometown. Not my hometown. I guess the town I was born in. Is he actually good? He's actually become a very wholesome man. 
Uh, I, I really like the man that uh, Terry Crews has become. Whoopsie, don't want to do that. So we're just filling the center now. Again, there's much quicker ways to do this, but we are just doing this for those. What is that? Why is that like that? Huh. There's like a dead pixel on my like monitor or something. That's weird. Is that my monitor or is that actually on there? No, that's on there. That's weird. Now we need to see how this shows up on the hood of the car. We want this to be on the hood only. Okay, so we're going to hit Control E again. So it re-exports over the file we had. We're going to go back into iRacing. I don't think... Well, maybe. Let's see. Oh, I need to fill in those holes, though. And again, better ways to do this, but we're doing this for beginners. So we're going to fill that in. Whoops. Okay, let's see how that shows up. Man, we got the techno going tonight. Okay, that'll do. Let's see how it shows up on the card. Now that should be what we see on the hood now. So let's go back over here. We're gonna control E. Remember, we control e on the GIMP file itself. We're waiting a few seconds for it to show up. Let's see what it looks like here. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so now let's hit control R. Let's see if that shows up. Yes, that is what we wanted. Now I'm thinking about having it maybe spill out onto the front too. You know what I mean? Like, I'm thinking about um, just below here in front of the grill. I think it'd be kind of cool to have it spill out down there, too, like right here. And I think we could probably go one more. I think we should have. I don't know. Let's see how it looks if I do. I think, see that row right there, too? I think I want to do that in blue as well, or in flannel. It will be flannel in the end. Okay. Did you guys see that, by the way? Okay, good. Okay. Can't watch VR streams? Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, Aaron streams of VR. It's pretty crazy. Okay, so let's head over to GIMP. I want, I want that stripe right here. See that stripe right here? I think we can do another stripe of blue to kind of make it look a little bit more even. Even though that's actually where the hood is. So we're going to do it right there. So let's do that. All right, one more stripe of blue. So we're gonna use plus and minus to zoom in. Remember that. Oop. Let's zoom in here to get a little bit better precision. We'll fill that in here in a second. Why didn't that go all the way up? There we go. Remember, we're just holding shift and click. That's all we're doing, shift and click. Making this line to go all the way down. Better ways to do this, but again, we're doing this for beginners. I have beginners in mind when I started doing this, so we're helping out the beginners here. Shift and click, fills that in. Okay, let's make the paintbrush, or the, yeah, make the pencil a little bit smaller. Size is over here. I am making it smaller so I can fill in those little gaps there. That's me. You streaming VR, Chase? Oh, you mean newbie. Okay. Yep. We made it just for guys like you, Chase. And uh, they save you a lot of time. I, I just learned by doing it, and it was so frustrating and so hard. My first paint scheme, no joke, took so long. Hopefully we save you guys some time by doing that. Okay. Now let's control E. Let's see what that looks like. Now, I think it's going to look a little bit better like that. No VR. Okay. So let's see what that looks like now. Now, we did Control E. We're going to hit Control R to have that load back up. And it's a. Uh, I don't know, guys. What do you think?
Let's see what it looks like from the tap. Does that look right? Well, yeah. It kind of works, doesn't it? I like it. Now, we haven't put the flannel on there yet. Let's do the front, too. Let's 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 have it pour out a little bit. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we have it come down a little bit on the, the grill here? I think we should. And not have it stop at just the hood. What do you guys think? Should we continue on or no? Or should we leave it just on the hood and the top? We'll take a vote. Okay. I'll take the silence as a yes. Let's do it. Okay, let's find the front of the car now. Jeez, man. This dual screen stuff, it will be the death of me. Okay, let's find the front of the car, which is right here. Let's go ahead. Oh, jeez. This is going to be hard lining this up, too. I think if we're looking at... Whoopsie. I didn't mean to do that either. I think if we remember looking at the car... Yes. So let's zoom in over here. Okay. So the blue should be right here. Boom, we're filling that in. So we're putting blue over here now. And I think we'll just do right here down to the bottom. Yeah, right there is good. So we're just using shift and click right now. Trying to outline it is all we're doing. And you don't have to be careful right here. Well, you do have to be careful right here, but see where it ends right there? See how this is outside the wire right there? You don't have to worry about that. Simply because it's not gonna show up on the car. So we're gonna go right to here. All right. And I believe this is right here where we painted to on the other side as well. Okay, this should be it right here. Let's go bigger marker now. There we go. Just shift click all over the place. It's okay if you're outside the lines. It might look sloppy. Oop. It might look sloppy on the uh, the old template, but that's okay. Because none of that stuff shows up. Oh, can't be that Scotty guy. Is that who you're talking about, Scotty? Are you back? <laughs> or are you talking about me? We're back painting this car. We're painting our. Uh... We're painting our car here. Okay, so <clears throat> for the league race, I think that's going to be good. So we're hitting Control and E. And we're heading back on over. Come on over. Come on over, baby. Okay, looking back at the car, now we're hitting Control R. Let's see if we line it up perfectly. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I like it. What do you guys think? Do you like that better or no? Or maybe we should angle it more to where it, like, comes in. Yeah, we should angle it a little bit more where it comes in right here. <laughs> I know, I know, it's it's not all about me. I think we should have it where it comes right here and right here. So we'll take some of that off. I've been awesome, Scotty. How you been? Loving the look of the new car. Can't wait to put that It's Me Randy sticker on there. All right, so I, I think it should actually be a little bit more angled in. So we'll have it stop right in here and like right here. Yeah, let's do that. A little bit too much. Okay, so let's get back over to the other side now. Let's get our black color going again. And let's have it go like right here. It's okay to be black right here. Oh, you know what though? Uh, it's very important that we erase this out of here and not use black, actually. So we're gonna use our eraser tool to get this out of here. 
that's important why I'll show you in just a little bit so we're just gonna erase it out of there it's very important that you erase this if we're gonna put uh, something over top of it so we're gonna do like that and same thing over here car eyeliner yep <laughs> So Aaron, we're, we're doing this for the league. This is my new K&N scheme for the league. So we have that now. Let's go ahead and hit Control E once again. Back over to the car. Let's see if that looks better. So you guys are going to see what it looks like before now. I had the blue all the way out, almost past here. See, I didn't like the blue all the way out there. I wanted it right here, but not all the way out here. So let's go ahead and hit Control R. Let's see how that looks. What is going on here? That's strange. Come on. All right. Yeah, I like that better. That is much better. I don't know why this one's so big. Oh, I got you. Okay. So there's that. Much better. I like that. What do you guys think? Is that better, or is it better when the uh, the blue is all the way out there? This will be flannel, by the way. Okay, I like it. We're gonna do that now. Let, how are we gonna get like a flannel pattern to go over top of this? Well, I'm gonna show you that right now. We want flannel going all the way over top of this. Now remember, uh, remember guys, um, I made a new layer to do this. If you painted this on the base paint, it's not gonna work. You had to have made a new layer like I did and what we're going to do is we're going to use, uh, we're going to turn this wire off now. We're going to turn that wire frame off. We're going to get our special uh, fuzzy select tool. This is okay for this. You normally don't use it for other things. We're going to select that. We're going to select the, all the blue that we did. All the blue. Okay, so everything we want to be flannel, we just selected. Okay. And what we're going to do now. Um, so we, when we put flannel on top of this, we only want it showing up on those blue sections. If we put flannel over top of it right now, it's just going to cover up everything. So what we're trying to do is have it cover up only the blue. So we have all the blue selected right now. We're going to go to uh, layer and we're going to do crop. Actually before we do that, that's flannel alpha to selection layer crop to selection so now when we put anything over top of this check this out now when we put anything over top of this it's not going to do anything except right where we did that see that let me zoom in now watch i have black marker selected i'm marking up all out here N nothing happens let's do a different color so you can see it better actually let's try white I'm doing white nothing happens right i put white over the hood where we have it selected white shows up over top of it okay so let's go find us a flannel color that I like. We're trying to make it look like that blue flannel that everyone loves that I wear. So we'll do that. Back on over to the other screen. Whoop. Minimize that. Okay. Uh-oh, what just happened? There we go. Uh, let's go to Google. Whoops. By the way, look at that. You can see that I'm streaming via T-Mobile. It's pretty awesome. I need to fix that though. I got wrecked because I blinked out yesterday, so I'm gonna have to think about that in the league and how I'm gonna fix that. Okay, uh, blue flannel. Uh, let's see if it has this, PNG. Hmm, blue flannel. Pattern. Let's see if that brings anything. There we go. I see it right there. Oh, I see. Plaid. <laughs> what would I do without you, Mr. Rogers? This is the one right here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to. Whoopsie. We're going to. Okay, that one's subject to copyright, so they say. So maybe not that one. That's the one that I wear, though. I think I like this one the best. We're doing it. 
Man, I'm getting emails like crazy today. Can I just view the image? Okay, that's as big as it gets, huh? We can make it work. I prefer it to be bigger. Let's see if I can get one bigger. You need a big one, because you need to take up the whole thing. And I believe they're 2048 by 2048. Yeah, flannel is... Oh my goodness, that's, that is... This right here, this is exactly what it is, but it's folded. Dang. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Aaron says wallpaper, that's what we're doing. Okay, what about how big is it? A thousand by a thousand. That looks good. Except we gotta crop that. See how that's got that thing at the bottom there? Well, we still might be able to use that though. Alright, we're gonna save image as. Let's just put it in the paint file. Blue. Flat. Okay, so now that we have that saved, we're gonna bring it up here under our paint. So I saved it under paint. Here it is, see that, there's my blue plaid. Yeah, you don't want it super detailed. I didn't want it super detailed. Okay, so now that we have that all set up here, let's take this and I'm going to drag it over to my paint scheme. Let's bring that file over here now. So we still have all that selected. We're bringing that blue plaid. Boom. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wait, why is it showing up right there, though? No, don't be doing that to me. Oh, it made its own. Dang. Wait, hold on. Let's fix that. We can do another thing as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring that in here. Okay, we'll do it again. Pull that back up. Blue plaid. Make it bigger. You know what? We might just do two different ones. What we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this layer and just put it right next to it. So blue plaid. Okay, so now that we have our selection, we're gonna select invert, and this will select everything else that we didn't. And if you hit delete, check this out. Booyah. Oh, what's the rest of the blue? Oh, I know why. Okay. What a pain. I think I just right clicked on the layer, copied, and then flipped it and rotated it 180 degrees. Is that what you did? Okay. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to delete that. So we select inverted. And now by doing that, we deleted all the, the black. That's okay, though. So we did that. We're going to put down another layer of plaid. We gotta make sure it lines up perfectly, by the way. And we're gonna do the same thing again. We'll just delete it again. So let's do this. Let's put that below that. Yeah, there we go. And select, and then delete it again. Booyah! So there's the plaid. Now we'll have to put the... I don't know why it's deleting the base layer, though. That's interesting. Let's see if it does it again. Oh. Uh, yeah, we'll do that in a second. So we need to put one more over there, and then cut it one more time, and we'll be done. Put a plaid, blue plaid, right there. And we need to make sure it shows up properly on the thing. Let's see if that shows up right. I think it should be like, with the black line right there. See if that shows up properly. Why is it doing that? Oh, I know why. Whoops. Hold on. Let's redo that whole part. I know what I did wrong. I'm being a knuckle. 
a real knucklehead. Take that out. So we're control zing to back up all that stuff. Okay, so, ha, silly me. When you do this, you have to make sure you put uh, the alpha channel in there. Otherwise, it's not going to cut it properly. So we put it in here like that. We we're making sure it's above the layer above the section that we cut out. And I right clicked on it. And now I'm putting add F alpha channel. And now we can, now we can cut it. Whoops. Select invert that cuts everything else besides the thing that you're cutting. Select invert. There it goes. Perfect. Let's do it again. Blue plaid over top of it. We need to make sure once again we add an alpha channel to it. Alpha channel. Let's put a blow here and make sure it lines up properly. So, there shouldn't be a line like that though. There we go. There's that plaid. Ah, I like it. Except, there we go. Better. All right, I'm liking it. Let's do it one more time for the front of the car. And we gotta make sure that lines up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second here. I don't like this right here though. I don't like that. We gotta fix that. Let's erase that out of here. And I think it's this one right here. Yeah, that's not right. You know what, we'll fix that in a second. Let's put that other piece on and then, so it looks like there's that right there. So if we just put one more piece over here, make sure you add that alpha channel. Okay. Once again, going over top here. I think that should be it right there. Hit delete. Oh, we need to add the alpha channel. Don't forget to add the alpha channel. Delete. Booyah. Okay, let's export this and see how it looks. Control E. And we're going to highlight this as well with a white stripe along the side of it. And I know somewhere I already got the fix right there. So let's go ahead and look at it in... Did I close iRacing? I closed iRacing. One moment. We got to fix that really quick. So we're just waiting now for iRacing to show back up. I don't know how I did that. Oh man, I'm kind of tired. Okay, it's opening up right now. We're just trying to see what it looks like on the car right now before we continue. <laughs> Someone said, I think uh, Francis said to, uh, <laughs> to do like blue jeans for the bottom. I like it. All right, now we gotta run a hot, oh no, not in the modifieds. Eye racing. We're not running the modifieds, although I do need to make a modified scheme. Gotta withdraw from that really quick. What a pain. Barkley, you're screwing me up, bud. Alright, let's try this one more time. We're going to Lucas Oil. Well, while we're waiting, what do you guys think of it thus far? What do you think? Oh, if it show up. Yeah, what do you think? You liking that blue plaid? Now, we're going to put some white around it to make it pop a little bit more. Because right now it just looks like blue plaid on black car. But uh, we're going to outline it right here with some white. It's going to look real nice. Yeah, and it's going to have uh, on the hood, it's going to have It's Me Randy across the top here. And maybe like a cartoon of my face. USA Firearms on the side. USA Firearms on the side. Bunch of contingencies. Okay, I'm liking it. Yeah, the, right here we're going to have huge USA firearms, huge USA firearms. 
I know. <laughs> I like it. We're going to try. It might be an epic failure, but you never know, you know? So, we'll see. We're getting back in iRacing here. I don't have one yet, Aaron. I got to make another one of those, too. I know. I need to, you know, I just need to make, um... Like a, a basic uh, A51 racing team that anyone can run that they want to. Thank you, Aqua. I appreciate that. I know there's so many stickers I have to put on here. <laughs> What's the inspiration for the modified? Uh, I I don't have a modified yet. The inspiration for the K&N scheme that I'm doing is whenever I wear that blue flannel shirt, people go crazy. They love it. And uh, we just wanted to make it It's Me Randy. And for the modified, I don't know yet. I think I think I want to do another A51 racing team theme for that one. Uh, we have a lot of guys that run the modifieds and do very well in it. Oh, that's not going to do us any good. No! Figures. I just need to get out there and run clean. I wonder if they'll penalize me for doing this. Even this right here will do. <laughs> My wife does love it when I wear plaid shirts, so... Ooh, this needs some rear brake bias for sure. Okay, perfect. That'll work. Okay, so now that we have that, we can get back out of this car. Oh, appreciate that, Dante. Yeah, we ran with Matt Malone. It was pretty fun. He's a crazy guy. And <clears throat> Aaron, if you have an idea for the... Uh, If you have an idea for the modified, let me know and we'll do it. If you have something in mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. Okay, let's go ahead and control R on here now that we control E. Don't tell me I gotta do this again. Did it change my car? There we go. So here's what it looks like thus far. I do like it, and yes, we're definitely going to have to put some white around the... Tr I was pointing with my finger like you guys can see that. We will definitely have to put some... Let me zoom in here. Definitely going to put like some white around here to make that pop. But I like it thus far. Yeah, that's kind of cool. What do you guys think? I like it. Uh, we do need to match up the front, though. The front is not matching. I do like it though. How do you make stripes? Uh, okay, Chase, I'll show you how to do that really quick. Let's fix that, and then I will. Let's fix the flannel, and then I'll I'll show you how to do it. All right, let's try that. Nope. Still not good enough. So we're trying to line up the flannel with each other here. And so I'm just trying to match it up. So it needs to be boop, 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 boop. Let's see if that works. Nope. Still needs to go a little bit more to the right. And down. Let's head back on over there. Do a motor city scheme, old school. Okay, yeah, that would be cool for like a modified because that would make sense. It's free, Dante. Completely and utterly free. 
That's why we're doing it. A lot of, cause you know, Photoshop's very expensive to get like a. Still need to go a little bit. To, if we go a little bit to the right, it'll be good. Okay, just a little bit to the right. Well, hold on a second. Let's do this. Okay, yep, a little bit to the right won't be good. All right, let's head back on over there. Yeah, man, it's the best way to make a scheme. Without a doubt. I mean, besides Photoshop itself. And down. So where should it come, where should the flannel line come across? Okay, so we need to go. Okay. Like right there. Okay. Let's cut that. Control E. See how that looks. Close, just a little bit more to the right, and it's there. Well, I don't know. I actually think that's pretty good right there. I'm being perfectionist. Yeah, we can bring it to the right a little bit. A couple clicks, and it's good to go. Okay, back over here. We're control Zing to undo. We're bringing it back, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then we're deleting it once again. And remember, because we have that highlighted and we inverted the selection, it's going to cut everything but the selection. So if you're tuning in just now, it's going to be a little bit confusing, but you'll see. If you watch it from the beginning, you'll see. Okay, let's look at that now. Beautiful. <laughs> I like this. I do like this. What do you guys think? I think this is pretty cool this far. And we'll bring put some stripes on it to really make it pop. But boys, I, I'm I'm liking this. I am liking it. Okay, so um, what are we doing now? Okay, so now that we're done with those, I don't need to be with those anymore. Now I need to make some stripes here. Oh, you know what though? I need to fix. Okay, so you hit select none to be done with it. And I need to fix the back part right here. And I think it was that one right there. So I need to fix this right here. So erase that. I don't need it that far back. I don't even know how I got it that far back. There we go. Beautiful. I like it. <laughs> I Yeah. You're funny, Aqua. Yeah, people like the blue flannel. I don't know why. Maybe I should be... Maybe I should put it on right now. Hmm. I should, probably should have wore it today. That would have been pretty appropriate, huh? Alright, let's think what we're going to do for the side now. Now, I know we're going to put Barkley on there. Okay, let's put Barkley on here. First thing I need to do is find a picture of Barkley that I want on there. Check this out. You guys are going to love this. This might be a little bit of a plain scheme. You know what? Let's highlight the flannel here really quick. I don't know. Maybe we should do something else for the black. Period. What would black flannel look good on? I don't know. We'll think about that. Let's let's find a picture of Barkley really quick, and we'll cut that out, and then worry about the base scheme later. Okay, so I'm going to go... You guys are going to stay over here, because i got to go into my wife's Instagram. Ha! Thank you for four months there, Zimmy. I appreciate that a ton. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, just gotta grab uh, a picture of Barkley here. Oh, geez, there's a ton of Jessicas with my same last name on here. Oh, 
Okay. I think she's It's Me J Dubs.
We're almost done! Yay! So we're just keeping putting the points on here, outlining Barkley. Maybe we'll just put that face on the hood. What do you guys think if we just put his face on the hood? Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> Just still outlining Barkley here, and there we go. Barkley is outlined. So uh, once you have all those points on there, go ahead and click that fuzzy select tool. Boom! It has Barkley selected now. Right? I know I'm talking about you, buddy. We're gonna hit select, invert. Remember, hitting select and invert, uh, it takes it from selecting what everything inside of here to selecting everything that's out, and we're gonna cut it out. Whoops. Sorry. All right, man. Happen. Oh gosh, they're talking to iRacing. racing. It completely scared me. That is scary. I forgot to add the alpha channel though. You have to go add alpha channel, and now we're gonna delete. And now it's transparent like that. Excellent. So now we're gonna go image crop to selection. Whoops. Image crop to content. There we go. Crop to content brings it down so it's not so big. Now we have a picture you might better go in front of, of Barkley <laughs> that we can put onto the car. So we need to export this as a PNG. So export as, I have a stuff right, for this. Thanks. And it's going to be Barkley PNG files. Make it so where you can have transparency. Whoops. So if you save it as a JPEG, it's going to have like a black background. So it's going to be Barkley PNG. Export. Yep, and that's fine. All those settings are fine. There we go. Now we have Barkley. Okay, let's go ahead and pull up Barkley now over here. It's gonna be under racing logos for me. There's my Bob Ross. Here's Barkley. Check this out, guys. Oh! He's too big. He takes up the whole car. <laughs> so we need to shrink him down with our tool right here. There's a sizing tool right here. Click on that. And uh, we can put the center where we want it. I think the center is going to be right here. And then if you want that, see that point in the middle there? Wherever you have that point in the middle, if you hit control and hold on to it, and then scale it down, he'll stay right there. Oh yeah. Oh, Barkley boy, I like that. What do you guys think? Oh yeah. Now we want to make sure he's not on the numbers. So let's pull up the number blocks here. So he's still too big. So we need to bring him down just a little bit more. Okay. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to do layer, transform, flip horizontally. So he's leaning on that wheel there. <laughs> How cool is that? I like it. I'll lock it. Barkley leaning on the wheel. I like that. Alright. Let's see how it looks on the car. So let's take those numbers off. We're gonna hit Control E, and that's gonna be on the passenger side. Oh yeah, stripes. Okay, Chase. Let me check it out, and we're gonna do it. Sorry, I forgot. Let's get eye racing up. And there's Barkley. <laughs> hey, that's cool. What do you guys think about that? I lock it. Chase, we are friggin' busy. Now we got Barkley leaning up against the wheel. I like that. That's so cool. It looks really good, actually. I'm kind of shocked at how clear it looks on that car. Box of wine can leave. Nah, he's my friend. He's just kidding. He likes Barkley. So that's cool. Barkley is leaning on the wheel well. I like that a lot. Okay. Okay, so we can do a stripe really quick. It's really easy. 
Box of Wine can leave. You know what, Ryan? We all voted. Sorry, buddy. You gotta go. So, Chase, here's what you do if you want to do a stripe. I'm gonna do a new uh, layer just for this. I'm just kidding, Box. You can stay. Not really. You should probably go. <laughs> Canned wine for the win. Alright, we're just gonna name it Stripe for Chase here. Alright, Chase, if you want to do a stripe, uh, I'm doing this on a new layer, by the way. There's a tool here called the Paz tool. Did you see it right there? I wish I could zoom in for you guys a little bit better. A 1992. He's the one voted off the island. <laughs> and you know what? We might do a stripe on here. It might actually look pretty cool, but we'll see. So we take the Paz tool. Okay. So when you have the Paz tool, you take it like that. You place it where you want it. And then, so I put it, I want, I want to stripe right where the, the, I guess the, the sticker meets the bumper right there, right? And we'll put the other one right up here to the front, right? And we want to make sure it's straight like that. Booyah, booyah. I think it looks pretty straight to me. And then, so once we have that there, we just made two points that create my a bad, line. My bad, y'all, my bad. We're going to do stroke path. And then depending on how wide you do it, so a line width of one is gonna have really thin, four is gonna, five is gonna have really thick, and I'm gonna make sure white. So whatever color you have in your foreground is gonna be the color too. So make sure the white color is on top, and check this out, stroke. And there you go. We have a white stripe on there now. Now if we make it wider, let's make it wider. Stroke. Now we have a wider stripe right there. See that? There's a stripe on the car now, right over top of Barkley. Okay, so we're done with that now. Let's put Barkley on the other side now. Barkley. Uh, layer, duplicate layer, and then we're gonna transform it 180 degrees. Whoop. Now we have another Barkley. And we're probably gonna flip him horizontally as well, so he's still leaning there on the, and I'm using the arrows to move him, by the way. That way he's staying exactly the same spot. Now, if anyone can tell me how to do this qu quicker, I'd appreciate that. This paint skin's gonna be ugly. <laughs> we're just gonna keep. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna keep moving across the screen all slow like this. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's awesome. Barkley in slow motion. It still shows the path. Well, just take it off there, Chase. Once you click on something else, once you click on another tool, it Sorry goes away. That, man. Not a problem. All right, now we're gonna flip it horizontally. So that layer, transform, flip horizontally, and now Barkley is once again leaning on that. <laughs> That's awesome. Have you guys ever seen the Tim Allen Doom mod? Where it just goes, uh -huh, every time he shoots. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, so there's Barkley on there. Let's go ahead and export it and see what it looks like. Hey, Magic, what's up, man? We're just doing some paint schemes right now. All right, let's see what it looks over there. Okay, there he is. Oops, that helps if I show you guys. Booyah. There it is on the other side. I like it. It's a little too dark for my liking though, so we need to pick this up. I wonder what happens. What would be a good color? You can barely see that though because of all the black on there, so we definitely need to highlight with some white stripes or something like that. So we'll have to do that. A big old white stripe. That will go all the way to the back, maybe. Yeah, we need something to make that pop. Otherwise, it's not going to show up. So we need to fix that. Uh, for what color? You mean for the black? 
Orange or white? Orange or white? Oh! Oh, I know what you mean. Okay, select like the opposite of the color wheel. Good, good point. Ah, I don't think orange is gonna work on this. Well, it's gonna have to be white. All right, let's make it pop. Let's put a stripe on there to make this plaid show up. Let's see how we're gonna do this. So. Okay. So we have that. That looks just like my shirt. That's crazy. So let's uh, do another layer here. We're gonna have it actually go underneath. Oh, we already have a stripe layer. Let's put that underneath all the plaid. And let's do that line tool again. And we're actually just gonna have it go right along this thing right here. Oh, let's see if I can do it. Well, I don't know. I don't want to hand do it because it's going to look like garbage. Let's do this. Let's just, for funsies, see how this looks. Let's do that. Let's bring this. I need the wire. Okay, so it does need to stop right there. Right there. Bend it a little bit. Right there. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what you. No, I don't think so. I put this place together. It's a bunch of music that doesn't have. Yes! Aaron, let's do silver. Yes, like a metallic blue on the sides. I love it. I love that idea. I love it, I love it. Okay, let's stroke this path though. Let's do like a nine, see what happens. That looks stupid. Yep, you're right, Aaron. Let's just make it silver. I don't know if they, ha do they have metallic frames for this thing? I don't know if they have like the metallic coats for this, but let's try, uh, oh, let's see here. Oh, let's just put on the base just to see. Yeah, it looked really bad. Sometimes you just know, you know? Seriously. Needs to be a little bit darker, I think. Maybe, maybe there's a reason why flannel was never on a car. <laughs> Let's get it a little bit darker. Uh, see, like that. Ooh, that's better. Let's make it a little bit darker. That was the ticket right there. A little bit darker. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay. Let's try this. Let's see what, the, what is that right there, though? What the heck is that? Why is that there? Oh. What happens if I erase that? I don't know why that's there. There we go. There we go. Kind of like that. That's kind of cool. We got Barkley on there. Let's see what that looks like. I don't know. It might look bad. We're just tooling around here. We're doing this live, folks. Just like Bill O'Reilly. All right. I've never touched you before. Oh, they're getting mad. Hey, hey, hey. That actually made the flannel pop. My that's better. Too. Yeah, that's much better. I really, really like this. 
Okay. Awesome. Awesome. By the way, Aaron, if you had, I don't know if you heard this earlier, but if you had something in mind for the modified, let me know and we'll do it. This is just more of a fun, I wanted to make a, something that was really me. But for the modified, I, I'd like to do something for A51, and uh, if you have something in mind, let me know. I like that a lot better. Baja Blast. Done. It'll be done. <clears throat> Although I need to fix that little bit of plaid right there. Biscuits. Oh well. Let's see that right here. I can't. Okay, whatever, it's fine. And we'll put like waves on the side of it. It'll be really cool. Okay, let's put the logos on here and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do for like uh, design on the side and stuff because I don't like it being plain like that. Okay, let's start putting some logos on here. Obviously USA Firearms gotta go on. Yeah, you gotta get in there, Dante. You gotta be in. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, now let's do all the sponsorships together. Oops. We're making a new folder, calling it sponsors. Sorry, 30. It'll all be in the same spot. We're gonna have all above all these things. Below Goodyear. Below that. Alright, and okay. Obviously we need USA firearms in there. Alright, let's try this one. How's that look? We could do the lettering in flannel as well. Alright, what do you guys think? Should we do the, should we do the USA firearms lettering in flannel? Oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that, Mark. Thank you so much. We're trying. Should we do the lettering in this thing in flannel? Well, if you got a logo, Ryan, let me know. So we're using our size tool once again here. And remember, the more you size it, the more haggard it's going to look. Alright, I do want that all the way across like that. That's pretty nice. Maybe we'll put it underneath Barkley, though. Maybe we need to move Barkley just a bit. But let's put that there. Let's see how that shows up. It might stretch over the top, which would look bad. Yeah, well, if you need a logo, Ryan, just let me know. We can, we can do you have a logo. That's no problem. Uh, let's take the wires off too. So remember, we're hitting Control E to export it, and I just took the wireframe off. I showed you how to do that already. It stretches over a little bit, but I think it looks okay. Oh boy! Oh, you guys can't see that. I better bring you over. <laughs> this thing is. I think I need to match the logo to, uh, maybe I need to match the lettering to the flannel. I think I'm going to do that. Maybe not. I don't know. Barkley looks so ridiculous on there. Maybe I'll take him off. Yeah, Thomas, you're probably right. Because yeah, you, you can see it does stretch. It does stretch over there a little bit. Hold on, let me fix this. As you can see here, it does stretch. Actually, I think it kind of looks good like that, actually. Don't do it, you monster. I know, look, Barkley looks so cool on there. <laughs> Oh, 
I kind of like it like that. Barkley over the logo. The logo in blue won't read. Well, it's going to have that white outline around it, but you might be right, though. Yeah, we'll leave the red on there like that. I think maybe we should change the flannel. I'd hate to do this, but maybe the flannel should be red. Let's just try and see what the, the USA Firearms would look like in flannel. It might not work. Let's just give it a shot. We got time. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to use our fuzzy select tool. I normally don't recommend doing this, but this is a quick way to do it. Let's try this. Okay, so I'm, I highlighted all that. And now I'm going back to the blue, the blue plaid that we had, which is just under paint. And there it is. Let's put that over it. Monkey see, monkey do, Jordan. Sorry about that, buddy. Okay. And we're going to select, invert once again, delete. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What just happened? <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. What? What just happened? That's not right. So this needs to be... Like right there. Let's try that now. Oh, you know what though? Duh. Alpha to selection. Layer. Crop to content. Crop to selection. And now let's delete it. Yep, you're right, Aaron. It's too big. Well, no, there it goes. Uh, it doesn't look good. Let's just see. We'll check it out. I don't like it, though. Well, yeah, maybe we'll shrink it down here. Well, I don't know, actually. What do you guys think? So yeah, you're right. To see more of the flannel, we're gonna have to shrink it down. You guys are right about that. What do you think though? Is it better with the red or with the flannel? Let's shrink it down. I think you guys are right. Let's shrink it down a little bit. Let's see how that looks there. All right, so let's get our size tool. Oh, geez, it's huge. Okay. Biscuits. Helps you guys can see what I'm doing. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll just... Good point. I like Zimmy's the best. Zimmy's got the... Yeah, let's do that. Let's just do the blue to match the flannel. Now, here's how you do that. Uh, you have to take your color selection tool, which is right here. Boom. I don't know, since I have that selected, I don't think it's going to let me do it. Select, none, let's go get on the flannel here, use our color selector tool, 
select that blue. Uh, oh, we have to have that selected. One second, guys, the wife is calling. I'll select that blue, though, while waiting. Okay, so now that we have that blue, maybe it'll be kind to us. So we selected the blue off that flannel. You have to have the layer selected that you're that you're choosing from, otherwise it's not. It's gonna think nothing's there. So we're doing this, and we're going to see if the the paint bucket's gonna work there. I'll have to select USA Firearms again. Let's see if that works. Yeah, hey, look at that. There we go. I'm clicking it multiple times. Because uh, I like to see the different degrees of color, but hey, I'm liking this. Although it's leaving, I need to turn the threshold up. There we go. So if you're seeing little streaks of other colors being left behind, just turn your threshold up on your, your fill bucket. Oh, buddies. Oh, buddies. I like it. Alright, what do you think? Is that better? I kind of do like that better. Let's check it out. Oh, that flannel was kind of cool. Yeah, I like that better. We'll have to change that number, too. Okay. Let's just duplicate that now. And the number is look, looking horrible with it right now. So we'll have to fix that later, but okay. Layer, duplicate layer, layer transform, rotate 180. And we're just gonna put that right in the same exact spot. Shall we do the super duper slow motion move again? I guess it's the most, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute. what did I just do? Oh, there we go. Layer, transform, 180. Let's move that layer only. We're playing Tetris. Sponsor Tetris. <laughs> I think there's a way. I There's a way to, you know what, screw it. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Let's see if that's on the number block, though. I didn't even think about that. Just a little bit, but it should be okay. Okay. I like it. A glacial place. I think that's too high. Let's check the wireframe. Make sure they're the same spot. So I turned on the wireframe to make... Nope, see it's too high. That's weird. Is one side of the K&N car bigger than the other? That is really weird. That is very strange to me. Huh. Alright, let's just keep moving. I can't be doing this all day. Yeah, that'll do it. Now, if I, now I can't put any designs on the side now because it's going to look way too out there. So I, th I think it looks good. Let's export it and see how it looks on the other side. I feel like one side... You like that? Okay, we'll do that, Aaron. I think that's a good idea. 
Um, I think as well. And you said you wanted them on top. We can do that. Like that. Maybe it's a little bit too much on top now. Yeah, it's a little too much now, but I, I see what you're saying. Like, yeah, there we go. Yeah, like that. It is? Okay, I don't know. understand why that looks so much bigger on one side. Okay, we'll check it out now. Let's see. That does look good with Barkley just a little bit over top of that. Good call. Good touch. Good touch. Now, check this out now with Barkley hanging out over top. Whoops, we need eye racing. Not my music. So, let's see how that looks now. Whoops, we should have taken the number off. Okay, let's take those numbers off, though. Hold on one second. Okay, now let's try it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it. It definitely looks like a homebrew right now, but I still like it. I mean, homebrews are cool. Homebrews are cool. I'll definitely fix that number up. I don't know, maybe I should put flannel on the deck list as well. Yeah, maybe we'll put flannel on the deck list too. Yeah, zoom into it. It seems a little bit better. It does look kind of cool like that. I like it. What do you think, Barkley? Here, come check it out. What do you think? What do you think? Would that work? Would that work? <laughs> he, he just wants to cuddle all the time. Oh no, can you hear me now? Okay, I like it. I think we'll do it like that. We'll, we'll match it on the other side. Uh-oh. Can you guys hear me now? Oh, I see what happened. You got me. You got me. How about now? You got me? Barkley, did you mess with the... You jerk. <laughs> Okay, we should be good. Okay, excellent. All right, Barkley messed with the settings. Let's get the other Barkley fixed. Let's put, um, let's definitely put flannel on the deck lid as well. And yeah, let's put flannel on the deck lid. Put the A51 racing team logos on there. Put the It's Me Randy on there. Maybe we'll just put It's Me Randy on the back bumper and put USA Firearms. I don't know. Zimmy, what do you think about putting your logo on flannel? Yay or nay? Let's fix it with Zimmy while he thinks about it. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I like that idea. <laughs> okay. Let's see which one we're going to use here. Will it show up, though? I know my logo will show up really well on this. Let's try yours, Zimmy. Let's see how it does. Well, no, because... Mm. Let's just try this. Uh, it's under racing logos. Look at all these. Look. Let's just put my face on there. <laughs> Alright, I really like this one. Let's see how that looks on there. This is actually going to pop really well. Alright. Layer. Transform. That needs to go under sponsor, so. Ok. 
Okay. Let's move it. We want the center right in the center here. Where's the middle of this thing? There it is. Okay. Let's resize it. Resize tool here. Remember, if you hit control and then bring it down, it's going to put it right where that cross is. Whoops. Right where that cross is in the middle. Uh, that might be a little... That might be a little too much there. I kind of like that. Going to get some din-din, huh? All right, enjoy. We'll see you in a bit. Let's see how it looks on the car. I like it. Aaron said he wanted some Baja Blast schemes. We can do that. All right, let's pull it up on the other screen here for you guys. I kind of like that. I don't know, what do you think? It should be further up, guys, or should it be further down? Uh, this, this scheme is a mess. <laughs> this thing is such a mess. It's like if we're trying something different. I might not even run this. I don't know how I feel about it. It does showcase all the stuff you can do, though. Nah, 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 nah. Maybe I'll move it down a little bit. Let's move it down. What's the matter, Barkley? Okay, we're gonna control E once again. Alright, let's try that. Yep, that's kind of cool. This thing is a mess. I don't know if I'll run this. I'll probably do something <laughs> different. <laughs> Holy cow. I don't know, guys, how I'm feeling about that flannel now. I'd hate to do all this and just give one the flannel. At least we showed people how to do it, but I think we'll do something else by the end of this. But we'll keep that going. Let's put all the other logos on there, and I'll fix this here in a little bit. And Zami, I think we'll do something bright for the next one. Okay, let's keep putting logos on here just to finish this thing up and wrap this stream up. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I just had him on there real quick. Okay. Why is it doing this? Anywho, let's get back to this. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. Okay, and let's put another It's Me Randy on the bumper. Trying to have an original idea, and sometimes they just don't work out the way you think they should. Maybe we should white stripe it. I don't know. I want to take up as much space as possible as you can in there. I do like that over gray, though. Very cool. Alright, that'll work. Yeah, we won't give up. We'll keep it going. I think we gotta we have to put a white stripe on that thing. Otherwise it's gonna look really silly. It needs detail. Why is this working? There we go. Shots fired. Alright, let's check it out now. Let's check it out from the back. Okay, there's that. 
maybe we'll put the bumper as flannel as well. That'd be kind of cool. You know what? Yeah, let's let's do the yeah. We're gonna do it. We're gonna make this. Let's make the bumper where the tail lights are. Let's make that flannel too. Okay, this is gonna be a cool scheme. It's gonna work out. Yeah, let's do let's do that. Check this out. This would be cool. All right, let's do a new bumper flannel. We're gonna do bumper flannel here. Yeah, we'll just get some more detail to it. It'll look better. It's just not come along as quickly as I'd like. So let's just do all this blue. Blue and blue. This needs to be underneath here, though. So we're gonna make all this now flannel. It'll be good. I think, anyways. Now we need to move that up now, don't we? Yeah, we'll do that, okay? And let's highlight that again. So getting our fuzzy tool, remember that? Now we're selected back on the color I just did, so whatever you name that, you need to do that. And we're going to, whoops, that's not good. I don't know why that's not blue, okay. Fuzzy select tool, I'm back on the color I just did, the layer. You need to be on the same layer you just did for that color. Selecting that, I'm going to out right click it, alpha to selection. That singles it out to where it's just there by itself. I'm gonna go layer, crop to content, layer, crop to selection. Okay, we're gonna do this again with the, we need the flannel once again. We've been using it a lot today. plaid there we go Let's put it right there oh is it too big layer let's do this there we go it's too little that's crazy okay Let's make it a little bit bigger then. Maybe not. Yeah, it needs to be a little bit bigger. Not that. Dang it. I need to select none again. Okay, there we go. I just resize it so it covers up the whole thing. And now let's go back to that bumper flannel. I'm going to select it again. Oopsie. No. Why did it do that? Hold on. Let's fix that. All right. Let's do that. Select invert that will cut out everything else that's on the inside, on the outside instead of being on the inside. Delete. There's that. We can move these down. I don't know what's going on. Why is it doing like, like this? It's acting very strange right now.
come on, nah. Don't do this to me. Okay, let's try this one more time. Alpha to selection. I don't, Thomas, which makes it uh, really difficult. I wish, because it actually looked really cool on this car. I might lighten it up just a little bit more, even. So we're trying to make this whole thing flannel. And it's putting up a fight for no apparent reason. Alright, let's do this. None. Let's do this. Let's put this down here. Boom. If you know of any, Thomas, you let me know, because I definitely need them. Now let's do it. Make it a little bit bigger. Gonna make it a little bit bigger so it covers the whole thing up. Not by much. Okay, we're gonna go back down to the bumper flannel, the same one I just did. I'm going to alpha to selection that thing. Alpha to select. Why did it shrink it though? Urgh. Why did it shrink that? Alright, let's just do it. If it does this again, this is going to be very strange. Oh. So, select invert so we don't cut out what we want like I just did right there, and then we'll cut that out. It still does on the base paint. I don't know why. Okay. Duplicate layer so we can do it again. We're just going to move to the side here. Select none. And we're just going to do this. There we go. Perfect. And now we have to fix the base paint. I don't know why it did that. Oh, crap. Okay, so I don't know why it's doing that with the base paint. We are really screwing this thing up right now. We'll fix it, though. So we need to fix this base paint now. We will do that. time with this. It's funny, it went fine earlier, now it's just not doing what it's supposed to. But we'll get it. Let's do this. Okay. Now you're only supposed to cut this area that I tell you. Alright? If you do anything else, you're not being cool to me. Select, invert, so we can cut everything else out of it now. Let's move this like this. Alright, here we go. One more time. There we go. That should do it now. Finally. Okay. We'll take that. Let's see how that looks on the car now. We're going to control E it again. Sorry that took so long. It shouldn't have. Let's see how it looks on the back of the car. <laughs> it definitely looks like it's flannel, doesn't it? 
Well, no, it looks like it's kind of like striped. Maybe we need to shrink that down. Well, I don't know. Yeah, we need to shrink that down a little bit. Let me show you guys what I'm seeing here. Here's what it looks like over here. I like it, but we gotta shrink it down. Yeah, let's shrink it down a little bit. All right, so let's undo that. And we'll just double it up is what we'll do. Blue plaid, let's shrink it down. Oops, let's move it and then shrink it. Let's do that, yeah. I like it. All right, one more time. We're going to select that once again, that color that we made. Select, invert, go back to the blue plaid. And we're going to delete. And let's duplicate that layer and just move it over the side and match it up. Oops. Select none. If you want to get rid of your selection, just hit select and none over to the right and we'll do it again. I like it. Alright, we're flipping it horizontally so it matches up perfectly. I think that's a lot better. Yeah, you would think so. I haven't been able to find them ever, though. Okay. There we go. Boom. And let's just merge those down so they stay together. Boom. So now those two are the same. Oh, dang it. Let's do this. Does that look better like that? I don't know why I left that line there. There we go. Boom. Why is that white line there? It shouldn't be like that. I don't like that. That shouldn't be like that. Still that blue line. I don't understand why it's like that. Let's see. Let's fix that really quick. Because we can't have that. Check it out. And then
marks where the deck lid ends. So let's just get our handy dandy pencil tool. Again, there's better ways to do this. But let's just do it in blue so we know what we're going to flannel. And we're going to go. Whoops. First of all, we need to do a whole new deck lid. Whole new layer. Make sure you do a whole new layer, otherwise, nothing's going to happen. It needs to be about right there. Deck lid. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Again, we're not actually leaving this blue. We're just highlighting this area so we can highlight it and then put the... Um, just put the flannel over top of it. And I've been doing it the harder way for some reason, and I, I gotta stop it. So actually, this line right here is actually the, the side of the car rolling up onto the deck lid, so you don't want to color that in. I just want a flannel car. Why is that so hard? All right, it's looking better, looking better. Okay, there's that. Now that's gonna be flannel as well. I kinda like that hood. Get some Hawaiian shirt in there. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna alpha that to selection. Okay, layer, crop to content first of all, layer, crop to selection. Okay, so now if we put another layer over top of that layer, so we're going to do our blue plaid again. So remember, I cropped content and I cropped to selection and I also made that the alpha selection. Let's see if that will let me do it now. I don't know why it's acting this way. You piece of garbage. That. It should just go right over where that selection is. Let's try this again. Okay, same thing as always. Select. Invert, so you cut everything around it and not everything inside it. Delete. Do it. I said do it. Oh gosh, this again. Delete that. Okay, there we go. Now let's see if that works. Biscuits. Whoops. Layer, crop to selection again. I don't understand why he keeps doing that to me. Are you glitching out on me? Gimp. Alright, let's fix this one more time. There we go. There we go. Crap to selection. Finally. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. So that's on there now. That's good. Okay. Let's see how that looks on the car. So we're going to hit select none to get rid of everything, by the way. And hit control E again. And go back over to iRacing. We'll do it on this screen as well. There we go. 
going to look up above it. Now that we have more flannel on there, I think it's going to look a little bit better. Oh boy, oh boy, look at that. You know what I think we might do too as well? Is make these sides over here. I think if we make them... Yeah, I like that. It's starting to come around. It's actually starting to look pretty good, guys. Uh, I'm glad we stuck with it, because it's actually starting to look pretty cool. Wow. Let's take that wireframe off and look at it again, though. I'm actually glad we stuck with it. It's starting to look cool. <laughs> Alright, let's look at it again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's starting to look like a race car. Now I think we could make like, uh... Time. <laughs> we put a muffin on there. Now I think we could uh, make the top areas too, like right in here. Where's my mouse? Like right in here. I think we make that black. Just make it match a little bit. Right here needs to be black as well. So that the bottom of the car actually isn't the same exact color as the top. So let's do that. Let's make all that. Booyah, booyah. Black. Let's do that. That'll make it look much better. Now, remember what I told you guys about uh, you need to make that kind of like that dash area black. You really need to do that. It does not look good if you don't. So I got my pen tool again. I'm just going to use the old-fashioned shift and click on it. Whoops. Let's go to the main car body. Let's just do it that place. Boom. Boom, boom. Trust me, it's going to look much better this way. So you guys want plaid tape. We could do that. Plaid tape would be cool. So I'm making this whole area right here look black. Cause that's the way it should be. I think Jessica said she's bringing home some Taco Bell. Oh yeah. Okay, I forgot, this. that plaid's a layer over top, so we can just do this. Booyah. Okay, there's that. Now watch how much better this is gonna look. It's all right, Barkley, she's almost here. All right, let's keep it like that. Now watch this, see how it's all gray right here? It does not look good, watch this. Oh, did I export this off? Let me control E over here really quick. Now check this out. Ready? Oh, night and day better. Night and day. What is that black over it? Oh, yeah. So we definitely need to do that. Hmm. That doesn't look good right there, though. So let's fix that. We need to fix that. There's so much stuff you gotta fix once you start doing this. Let's get back over the gray. We use quite a bit of that, right? Is that what we're using? Yeah, there we go. So let's fix that so it looks nice. There we go. See that? Booyah. Let's see how it looks on the car now. Artificially fixed it because it, it doesn't actually end there. Let's look at it now. Oh, it's muffin time! Oh, you know what? It ends right there anyways, though. So that's right. That's correct. Hey, Barkley, I need you to stop. Okay, buddy. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, this is this is nice right here. I'm liking it. All right. Okay. Now let's make these areas over here, the, the top of the car as well, black. I think it'll look a lot better like that. So let's do that. And then let's make the tape plaid. Thomas had a great idea. 
So let's turn the wire on so I can see what I'm doing here. Turn on that wire back on, the wire frame, so I can see that. And it'll just be like this. Check this out. You're gonna, you guys are gonna love how much better this is gonna look once I do this. I mean it. I sound like Bob. I really do. I'm starting to sound like Bob Ross now. You know, it's funny. I actually used to own an Impala that had the same logo on it, just like that. It was a good car. One of GM's rarely good cars. They made some junk, man. I love GM, but we made some garbage. Okay, see how that's all blacked out now? I like it. I like it. Let's do this too. No, it's fine. We'll leave that gray. Let's do the other side now. Hey! You can make it? Turn in all this black. And we need to hit that right here. Yeah, it's gonna look a lot better. All of it's going black. Okay, let's turn that wireframe off and watch how much better this is gonna look now. Wireframe is off, we're hitting Control E to export it again. And I think it's just gonna look way better like this now. I drove just in time. Okay, so now check out this area. See how it's all like gray? Up to, well, you know, it helps if I turn you over there. Now do you see how it's all gray up here, right here? That doesn't look very good. Watch what happens now that we put that black in there. Check this out. Oh yeah. I like it. Much better. <laughs> you now have a web page. That's right. That's right. Hmm. We still gotta do something with this gray. Is that too dark? What do you think? Is that too dark? We should make it silver. Let's turn it a little bit lighter and see what happens. Alright, base color. Main body color. So heading back over there, we're going to change the main base color again. I think maybe put down a little bit more silver, it'll be good. Get my fill tool. We're turning our threshold down because I don't want it to get that. Um... Thanks, buddy. We're trying. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted lower threshold. Should be 100% though, right? Practice is over. Oh, practice is over. Let's turn that down. Don't you dare. There we go. Is that too much? Let's check it out. Barkley. I need to be black too. Okay. Was that too much? Let's see. I think I kind of like it. Ooh. I kind of like that, boys. I like it better with the lighter silver. Looks like a skirt skirt. I like it. Okay. Now we need to start throwing some more decals on it. I think I'm going to do the, the spoiler and that color as well. And we'll start winding her down. Oh, I got to put my name on there too. Biscuits. Okay. Stop with these. Yeah, I like these colors. I'll lock them. Control E that. Just save it there. Where's the spoilers at, anyways? So I need to select that. Spoilers. The rear spoiler is 
Gosh, they didn't select anything. I think that's it right there. Is this a real spot? That's gotta be it right there, okay. We'll make that like that. And we'll make the tape the same color as the flannel. I'll stop saying these clever jokes. <laughs> you gonna make it, buddy? All right. This is the craziest scheme I've ever done. Definitely looks like a homebrew, but I like it. I like it this far. Okay, so we did that. We fixed that. Uh... Spoiler's gray now. Maybe we should keep it black, actually. I think it would actually look better black. Maybe we'll fix the tape color, though. So let's click on tape. So now we can mess with the tape. Let's make the rear tape that blue. Oh, what in the heck? Okay, there we go. There's that. We'll make that black. Excellent. Make those black. Now we got all the tape black. And. Dude, what if we made the bow ties too? The same as the It's Me Randy. To where it goes from one color to the other, radiant light. Oh, yeah! Homework is stupid. I agree. No, homework's. You gotta do it. Okay. So let's see if we can. I'm going to try to do that blue plaid once again on that tape, see if it works. That's a whole other thing, we'll do that another day. I don't want to do that for that, just that tape right now, but we'll make that tape black as well. There we go. Excellent, man. I'm glad to hear that. It's nice to have that done, huh? Okay, let's export that, see what that looks like. And then we gotta start adding logos to this thing. We need to fix the number, too. what though? I gotta fix that plaid on the side. Yep, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Let's fix that. You see how that looks there on the front right there? Oh, let me, let me pull it up for you guys. I forget I have to do this every single time. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that. We're trying. Yeah, I'm trying to get something that was uniquely my stream. And everybody loves Barkley, and Barkley's on there. And whenever we wear a blue plaid shirt, people freak out. So we need to fix that on the... See how there's that gap right there? Let me zoom in. See how there's that gap right there? We can't have that, so we got to fix that and clean this up just a little bit. And I think it'll look good. So to take that off right there. We'll have to move the logo a little bit to the side. But I appreciate that, MLG Steve. We're trying. And we'll fix the number, too. I like that. I like that. We'll keep going. <laughs> Hydro, you are out of control, bud. Okay, so let's fix that little bit of gray right there. And we can't have that gap in there. Let's do that. So it's right here. Let's bring the wire back up. See 
that right there. Let's do that. And let's fix that. Let's get our gray pencil back out. Boom. Let's fix that. You mess with me, Barkley. It's going to be over that. Is that it right there? If we erase it. Oh, where is it? Oh, that's why. Select none. Make sure you always hit select none when you select something. <laughs> you're, no, crazy in a good way, Hydro. Don't, don't, don't think you're crazy in a bad way. Crazy in a good way. I like crazy. Let's get rid of that layer. There we go. Now we can delete all that and just have it go away. Let's just do that right there, like that. Boom. That's gonna look better. Now we gotta move the logo. Yeah, crazy is a good thing. Don't you don't want to be plain Jane. Uh. Okay. So that's a good thing. So we gotta fix this logo now, so it's not hanging off the side. Okay, there's that. I lock it. All right, now let's fix the main car body here as well. Let's do this. So it shouldn't be like that. Yeah, it should be like this right here. Okay, let's fill that area back in we just messed up. Yes, exactly, Thomas. Yeah. Dude, and Bob Ross is such a good guy. Oh, man, he was a cool guy. It's sad that, you know, his family treated him the way they did, but it happens. All right, let's see. Let's export this. See how it looks now over there. Oh, we should have made that blue. Let's make that tape blue. Hold on, let me fix this tape here real quick. Okay, now let's export it. Control E to export. Now we're heading back over to the paint scheme here. See how it looks on here. And we should have fixed that now. Uh, still jutting over a little bit on that, isn't it? So we'll fix that. But, uh... Oh, I see. Well, that's how it should look, though. Right? Let me check that. No. Yeah, it should and man, it looks like that looks bad. We gotta fix that. Yeah, we'll clean that up. Okay. Perfect. So I know how to do that. Let's get back on over here. All right, let's fix that. wire frame back on so I can see what I'm doing. That needs to be black. Oh, select none. Make sure you always hit select none if it's nothing showing up. So that needs to be black. The font. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll clean that up too, Hydro. Yes, you're exactly right. Yep, we'll clean that up. Yeah, you're right, right by the, um, yeah, we'll fix all that. I didn't think it'd show up, but it did, so we'll fix all of that. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for that host there, Rachel. How you doing, girl? 
All right. Let's do this. See, now I need to turn this wireframe off because this one was really bad. There we go. I don't know why. Oh, whoops. You know what that is? That's that gosh darn flannel looking pretty bad. Let's fix that too. There we go. Brilliant. Okay. So, he was right. It was looking really nasty right about here yes look at that <laughs> you see that right here oh gosh that's terrible let's take that off what is that oh no oh no oh no oh, what am I gonna do to get that off it's gotta be there right what in the world is that Oh well, let's fix that though. So we need our blue that we just had, let's fix that. Oh yeah, what's up Rachel? How you doing? There we go, that should have helped fix it up a little bit. Alright, that should have fixed it. Let's go control export again. Let's check out this car now. We're trying to give me a flannel car here. Because people love it when I wear the flannel shirt. Let's reload it now. Hmm, that doesn't look right. But let's check out, see that looks right again. Maybe we'll take the blue off the front completely. I don't know yet though. Yeah, that's that's gotta be black right there. Okay, let's fix that. See that right there? That needs to be black, so we'll fix that. Now we're doing the detail work on this thing. This is the hardest part about painting. Wireframe. <laughs> well, first of all, you don't suck. Second of all, you're you're definitely speaking with the right guy for that. All right, we're just shifting, clicking now, and make a line. That's where it should be, right there. All right, one more time with this thing. See, that's not going to look right, but we're going to try it. It's weird that... What is that thing? So we're going to go back on over there. So we control E again. And it should... Come on. Let's try it again. No, trading paints, don't do this to me. That looks like crap. Why does it look like that? It should stop, right? All right. I don't know why it's doing that. Hey, hey, thank you so much, Rachel. I appreciate that a ton. Thank you. Okay. Let's go ahead and fix this now. I don't know why that doesn't line up like it should. There we go, that should fix it. The wireframe was actually wrong on that one, which is really strange. Thank you so much, Rachel, I appreciate that. Let's see how that did on there. So going back over there, that didn't fix it. All right, 
let's check that out. You right, Barkley? Still needs a little bit more, but we're close. We are close. Let's head back on over there. Okay. I don't know why the wireframe doesn't show this. It should. There. That should be it. That should be it. Let's see if it works. Hey, check it out. Booyah, booyah, we did it. That's nice, clean, straight edge. Took a while, but we got it. Okay. I'm thinking about taking off the front flannel. And just having just the hood. Nice. Not bad at Daytona. That's a hard track. Okay, I like that. Not bad at all, Rachel. You're getting better and better. You're way better road racer than me, that's for sure. Take the flannel down to the grill. Hmm. Funky Monkey, yeah, you're right. It's either got to go all the way down to the grill or stop at the hood. Now, if I take it all the way down the grill... Yeah, I think I need to see it take it away. Yeah, Jess is a cool girl. She's super cool. You're right, Funky. It's got to go all the way down. <laughs> Barkley's on the car. Did you notice that, Rachel? See him right there? There he is, leaning up against the wheel, uh, the wheel well. You know, we need to move him over so he actually does touch that. Let's do that. Barkley over so he's actually leaning up against that wall there. <laughs> Give Barkley some treats. He's spoiled. He gets like uh, little milk bones that are made of like meat. He's such a punk. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Alright, let's move Barkley over. So he's actually leaning on the wheel. Oh, I love it. I love it. There he goes. Okay, better, better. Now we gotta figure out what we're doing with the front and then we'll call it good. I think I might just take the flannel off the front completely, if I'm being honest. Yeah, let's see if that actually made him lean on the wheel now. It should have. Let's get back on over to this. There we go. Now he's leaning on that wheel. <laughs> I like it. Want to get zoomed in on that puppy face. There's Barkley. Okay. I like it. Okay, so we gotta figure out what to do with the front. I think I'm just gonna leave it at the hood, is what we're gonna do. Yep, I think that's what we're gonna do. Or stop it just below the grill. Yeah, we're gonna change the numbers. The numbers will be fixed and everything.
Yeah, we'll stop him at the lights there. Let's stop him at the lights. I think that's what we're gonna do. It goes too close to the Impala SS. Let's go over there and fix that. Yeah, okay. We can do that. Where did I do that at? Uh oh. So let's get out our race tool. Let's do this. Let's stop it right there. Why can't I fix it? There we go. Let's do this. Let's. Yeah. Where did the other one go? Err. I think that's gonna look better right there. Yeah, let's do that. Fix that right there. I think if we do it like right like that, it's gonna look a lot better. Okay. I think that's gonna be better if we do it like that. Let's see what that looks like. Yes, get on the ovals, Rachel. They're so much fun. Well, yeah, they're fun. They're frustrating because it's a lot easier to reckon them, but they're fun. All right, let's check this out. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. Okay. We'll take that. We'll get the It's Me Randy on the hood. USA Firearms on the side. All right. So now we need to put the contingencies on there. See you, Rachel. Hey, have a good one. So let's put our contingencies on there. I got a lot to do. I'm gonna put my name on the, the top as well. Actually, the wireframe. Uh oh, my wife must be home. All right, guys. We might have to call it there. So the only thing I'm gonna do now is just put some stickers on there. You guys know how to do all that. Um, I'll put my name on there. Maybe I'll throw this up on Trading Paints if anybody wants to run it. And uh, you guys will see the, the final product in Aaron's League Race. So. I like it. I'm glad we stuck with it. It turned out a lot better than I thought it would. And I will check you guys out in the next stream. See ya.